how crazy the wheels go. If you follow the channel, you'll know that I'm a bit of a fan of WL Toys. You could almost call me a fanboy. Fanboy! The man was a fanboy. The reason I like WL Toys is because they offer value for money and you can do quite a lot from them, from bashing and beach running to absolute crazy speeds. And I think the fastest WL Toys is about 130 mile an hour. It might even be more. And in this video, we are concentrating on this one. <laughs> So this is the 124017, they're 112 scale buggy, it comes brushless, we'll talk about this in a minute. This is what it looks like stock, and I also do a desert buggy version, I actually prefer this one, this is my favourite of the two. Why are we talking about this one today? Well, one thing these are good at is going fast. My little modified 14th scale, this will do nearly 80 mile an hour, running a relatively cheap um, setup there. Eighty mile an hour. The only problem it has is it likes to crash, and when they crash at eighty mile an hour, you know about it. Yeah, that's dead. <laughs> oh my days! <laughs> that was a big crash. <laughs> oh dear. There's the uh, <laughs> buggy. So we're just missing the um, the main bit of the GPS. This is the longer wheelbase one. So this was actually the brushed version of this um, and it's just a roller at the moment this one holds my current pb and i think it's 93 mile an hour i got with this thing absolutely crazy but i wondered how fast can you get one of these completely stock and when i mean completely stock i mean by using completely stock wl toys parts so that is a stock v1 017 and that was a stock v2 the v1 comes with a 3400 kv motor and a 27 tooth pinion the v2 comes with a 4300 kv and a 19 tooth pinion so they geared it down but they upped the kv on the motor so my idea was to kind of mix and match um, some of these buggies to see how fast we could go if you know your wl toys you will know that them wheels and tires are off of the 144001 uh, the brushed version the rear wing is actually a modified one from the buggy so 144001 124016 and then underneath here everything else is stock and underneath here we've got the 4300 kv motor from the v2 but we've got the 27 tooth pinion from the v1 so if you're thinking of doing this conversion yourself a couple of things to note you'll see that this has got a different color motor mount to the normal v2 to that one and although this has got multiple holes in it you cannot get that pinion on using this mount because it doesn't move the motor across enough so you have to use the v1 mount or like the original mount be prepared though for things to get stuck and break i did heat these up they got that much loctite on that i actually sheared the uh tops of these screws undoing them by hand i had to draw the grub screw out of the pinion although i did find another one anyway and just overall it is an absolute pain to try and get the fixings out of this it's crazy anyway we did it so we now got a faster motor taller gearing and i certainly wouldn't recommend that for day-to-day -day running because it will get very hot and it will suffer with cogging probably we're just gonna do a speed run on this on a nice flat surface, so it should be all right. The only other thing I've done to it, I've put some screws in there, some droop screws. There's holes in there in the arms. You, I just put the normal Tamiya screws in there, screwed it down, you can see it's now got a bit of a rake to it, so the front's sitting down a little bit lower. I've stiffened the rear up a bit, that should help it with a bit of stability. Anyway, I'm gonna give it a run on 2S, then we're gonna give it a run on 3S. We're gonna see how fast this stock WL Toys is. Let's go. It is a beautiful day for a speed run. GPS ready. 2S run first, let's go. So straight out of the box, these um, V2s. Oh, my steering's a bit oh. So straight out of the box on 2S, these do just over 40 mile an hour. That is with the uh, V2 with the stock gearing. Obviously, higher gearing on this. I'd expect to see more than like 40 mile an hour, for sure. See if we get a bit close. There you go. It's hard to tell how fast it is on this big wide road here. It looks pretty quick. 
Sometimes though, when you start gearing stuff up, it actually goes a bit slower. <laughs> 55 mile an hour. I told you this road's hard to judge speed. 55 miles an hour on 2S. That is crazy. Right, this is where things get spicy. Um, I have put a little bit of tape just to take the body down because the big battery in there is lifting it slightly on one side, so taped it down just to keep it secure. Right, here we go. <laughs> 3S run. That 55 on 2S has got to be a record for stock um, electronics, surely. It's got to be. I think if we can keep this thing planted, this is going to be another record, from what I've seen anyway. Here we go then, stock WL Toys, 3S run. Yes, that was flat. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> that is really hard to control. <laughs> 69 mile an hour. Right, we have got to go for 70. We have got to go for 70 mile an hour. And full throttle again, and there's a car coming out of the way. Right, let's bring it back. Yes, 71 miles an hour. The thumbnail's gonna look even better because I'm gonna put 70 plus stock WL toys. Clickbait central. A little rat, a little weasel. 71. So I've tweaked the timing a little bit. You can use a little, um, the little program cards with these. Adjust the punch levels, timing, brake force, etc. So I've, the timing looked like it was on 9% or 9 degrees. I've put it to 12. Whether that make a difference, I don't know, but here goes. I still can't believe 71 mile an hour. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not gonna say it's controllable at 70, but considering they're stock tires and it's doing 70 mile an hour, that is crazy to think. <laughs> so fast. Here we go. Did we beat 71? Nope, 71. So tweaking the timing didn't make a difference, but it has had a few passes and it is only a 1500 milliamp hour uh, LiPo. So 71, I still can't believe it. That's got to be a record. <laughs> 